So I'm cutting back on my tomato plants and I'm trying to get them to maybe hopefully throw up some more shoots like this one. And there's a couple in here. You see this one's throwing up some shoots down there. So I usually try to trim them back. It's a little late in the year for me to do it. But in any case, I'm maintaining the plants. And while I'm doing this maintenance, I get what's known on my hands as tomato tar. And the more you work with this on your hands, as you're getting it on your hands, in other words, and you're working around the garden, this stuff will get very black. And when you get this stuff on your clothes, you're not going to get it out of your clothes. So you always try to wear clothes you're, it, you don't really care about. It's going to get, like I always wear black. One of the reasons why I always wear black is because I get tomato tar literally all over my clothes just walking through my greenhouses and my garden. So I've ruined a lot of clothes already because I can't get this stuff out once it's in there. It literally stains anything other than black. I mean, black, you won't notice it, but anything else, you're going to see this staining get on there. And it's very difficult to get off your hands. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to actually get rid of it, uh, how, to get, how to actually remove it from your hands. But I do want to show you what happens when you put this green stuff into water and what it does to the water. I do want to show you what it does to water. So I'm going to have to set up a container for water and dip my hands in it or take some of the stems and get some of the tomato tar in the water so I can actually show you what happens to the water. All right, but I am going to show you how I remove this from my hands. All right, so hang in there. I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, the water is clear right now. And we're going to try to get some of this tomato tar into the water and kind of show you what happens to the water as I'm getting tomato tar in there. Now, this will do this whether your hands are in it or whatnot. It, it'll do this anyway. But you can see it's already turning slightly yellow. I can't really rub the plant because I want to show you how I remove it from my hands. Now, a lot of times if you get it on your hands and you wash it off like right away, like if I if I put my hands in that water and I wash it off, most of it will come off my hands right out the gate. But if you let it dry, like you're working in the garden for a while and you're letting it sink in your skin and dry, you're going to have a hard time getting it off your hands. That's why I want to show you what I do to get this off my hands. And as far as clothes go, I don't really know a remedy for it. You see it turns slightly yellow. There's really not a whole lot of tomato tar in this plant. You really got to rub it off to get it in there. Let me um, let me put my hands in there because my hands got a lot of it on there. I'll just handle some more plants and get it back on my hands. But, but as you can see, that's what it looks like. I got a lot of it off my hands, so... You can see it turned real green. Now I'll come back to this in a couple minutes and I'll show you what happens in a few minutes, all right? You can see what it looks like now. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, so this is about 10 minutes later and I just wanted to show you what color the water turns after about 10 minutes or so. And I've seen it get much darker than this. When I'm really out there doing a lot of tomatoes and going through ripping plants and I'm covered in this stuff, this can get really dark. It almost looks like muddy water. So, it's not bad or anything, I'm just letting you know, when you wash your hands, it's going to look like the water might be start turning brown. That's what it is, it's the tomato tar. So, so just keep that in mind when you're, when you're picking up your tomatoes. I'm going to get some more of this on my hands. I'm going to handle some more of the plants and try to get some more tomato tar on me so I can show you the best way to get this off your hands once it dries on there. Like I said, if you're getting, if you get to it, like in the first... I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes or something like that. It generally washes off. But when you when it's on your hands and you're handling plants all day and you got a lot of tomato tar on you and you're getting this stuff on you, it gets really hard to get off your hands. So, I mean, I've had my hands literally covered in this stuff. I've had my hands covered so much in this one year when I was growing a lot of tomatoes. My hands were covered so much, it looked like I handled almost like a honey and it dried on my hands. My hands literally were caked with brown stuff. And I couldn't get that stuff out of my hands. 
<laughs> just, just to give you an idea, you know, when you're handling a lot of tomato plants and, you know, going through your tomatoes and you, I mean, you get covered in this stuff, guys. You literally get covered in this. And um, so you're going to want to know how to deal with it if you do grow a lot of tomatoes. I used to know somebody who tomato farmed. They used to grow a lot of tomatoes on a farm. And they used to laugh and tell me, oh, that stuff. They're like, man, you, that will destroy your clothes, they used to say. They used to tell me, you know. If you're going to handle your tomato plants, definitely consider some of these options I'm giving you in, in this video. Now, I have to let this dry into my hands, and hopefully it doesn't come off because I'm really busy right now. And as you work, it does come off. But if it dries into your hands and you can't get it off, I'll show you what you do to remove the tomato tar. As you can see, it's not really going back on my hands because I handled, this has all been handled already. And I got most of the tomato tar off already, so. But, we'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky, I'll get some more of it on there. But, yeah, it's pretty much no more tomato tar. So, here we are. I'm in the garage, and I'm getting ready to clean my hands. As you can see, I have some tomato tar in there, and it's not really bad. And it hasn't really been on my hands very long, but long enough where it can become a problem if I get, I start wiping it on my clothes, it start, starts getting all over the place. So basically what I do is I add, or I wash my hands with this, which is just alcohol. This is denatured alcohol. Basically what denatured alcohol is, it's regular alcohol and they add some chemicals to it so you don't drink it. It's a poison, so you, you die if you drink it. You can't drink denatured alcohol. That's why it's sold in a hardware store. So it's a, all it is is regular alcohol with some chemicals in it added to it. So you you die when you drink it. And that's just the way it is. It's not meant to be drank. And I'm only using this because I don't have any rubbing alcohol handy. But any alcohol is fine. Rubbing alcohol, any kind of alcohol. Just basically... Spray it on your hands, you know, wash it around your hands a little bit, like that. And then wash it off. And that's it. My hands are nice and clean. See? No tomato tar. Now, keep in mind, too, I did wash this off early. But if I'm in the garden for a few hours pulling out tomato plants and I really get covered in this stuff, it's really hard to get off because it really sets into your skin and it really doesn't want to come out. Again, if it gets on your clothes, you're not getting it out of your clothes either. You might get lucky if you wash it and you can get it out. But when you get a lot of tomato tar on you, it's really hard to remove it. And it also depends too on it, on the time of the year and the, the grade of the tomato tar. When the tomato tar is really fresh, that's when it's a real problem, I notice. But like these plants were old that you see me taking out. So those glands, those... Uh, Terpene, I think they call those terpene uh, trichomes and all that stuff, and all that's all kind of old, so it's already kind of oxidized. And but when that plant is fresh and you get that green stuff all over you, you really have a hard time getting it off. So again, if you do have that problem, you can use uh, regular alcohol and you'll be fine usually. Now after that, if it's like you had it on you all day and you really can't get the stuff out of your hands, you can try using lighter fluid, like the regular kind of lighter fluid you put in the, the flick lighters, those, not butane, the other lighter fluid that you put in the one with the lid, and you squeeze the liquid in there. That lighter fluid, you can also try to use that. You can try to use gasoline. And there's a couple other things you can try. I mean, you can use xylene if you want, turpentine, but now you're getting into chemicals that are very caustic, and you might not want to do that. And I don't recommend you do that. What I recommend is wear gloves, <laughs> and if you do get it on your hands, and you want to remove it, and you can do it within 10 to 20 minutes period of time, you'll pretty much get it off your hands. But if it's in there for hours and hours, you'll have a hard time getting it off your hands. And even if it does look like it came off your hands, when you handle your clothes, like, like especially clothes that are white, all of a sudden you're going to see brown staining on your clothes, even though your hands are clean, because it's in your pores of your skin. So... That's why I'm saying you got to make sure that you clean your hands really good. Now, I didn't really clean my hands really that good with this with this spray, so I could touch something white and maybe still 
get a little of it on there. But if I wash my hands really good with a scrub brush and everything, you pretty much get it all out. Just make sure you really clean it good, at wash it. I'm going to wash my hands with soap now. I just rinsed it under water to show you. See how it came off? But like I said, once you get on your clothes, I don't know what to tell you about clothes. They do sell, I think, a product that actually does get it out of your clothes. You put it in your wash machine and you, or you put it, you put your clothes in the bucket, you soak it in that, and then you add this chemical to it, and then you throw it in a wash machine and wash it out with regular soap, and, and that supposedly gets it out. There is a product out there that's for that, but as far as I know, like without just using regular soap, I've damaged a lot of clothes getting tomato tar on me and it's nothing that's why you see me using black so you don't see the tomato tar all over my clothes so that's it that's uh that's how i deal with tomato tar and if you have any experience with tomato tar if you're a tomato farmer or you were somebody who worked as a picker on a farmer um, please comment below i'd really love to hear your input on tomato tar and how you deal with it but so far that's always worked for me and uh, give it a try if you have any problems with the tomato tar in your hands, all right? So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.